Good morning, East Texas. I'll tell you what, we're gearing up for a wet morning commute there for you. And by this afternoon, a wet afternoon commute. So just keep the rain gear with you and give yourself extra time. Plan on rain throughout the day. Now, overnight, we had some rain across the northern half of the area. That has kind of moved out now. Notice we're seeing a brief break, but here comes more rain straight from the south. In fact, central and southern sections are in the thick of it now. Moderate rainfall stretching down 59 from Nacogdoches to Lufkin over towards Corrigan, back over towards Crockett now beginning to fill in, and we've got more activity moving up towards center in the Milam area, but that's not the end of it. Let's go back to the south and west. Look at this from Austin down to Corpus Christi. More rainfall lifting north from the south, so we're going to be seeing rain chances remaining across the area, and here's why. Our big storm system, the upper level low, is finally on the move, pushing through Mexico still, but is about to make its way into Texas, and eventually this upper low will move directly over east Texas this afternoon, so that's going to bring in yet more rainfall later this afternoon and evening. So this morning, here's our rainfall moving from southwest to northeast. Notice around lunchtime or so, I'm going to stop the clock here. Notice we get a little bit of a break here. So if you need to do anything outdoors or need to run some errands, I think around the lunchtime frame will be the best time, although we'll still have a few showers in the area because this afternoon, here comes that upper low, and as it moves overhead, we'll see rain chances increasing once again. Even could see a couple of rumbles of thunder as that upper low moves through with the dynamics of that system. Then it's out of here by midnight, but notice the clouds kind of hang tough, so I think we stay with mostly cloudy skies into your Tuesday. Highs in the mid-50s, just a very slight chance of a spotty shower out there. As far as rainfall goes, around a half an inch or so at most across most of the area possible for today. Maybe a little more across far deep east Texas. But the bigger story we'll turn our attention to, look at this in Canada, folks. We're talking three Edmonton, three in Calgary. That's some cold air, folks. In fact, it's downright frigid and that bitterly cold air, this is your cold air source, is going to be making its way south in the form of an Arctic front. So the frigid air building up to the north, yeah, it comes straight south Wednesday night and a Thursday with this cold front. We're talking an Arctic blast making its way into East Texas, our first one of the season. Here's how it shakes out in your seven-day. 50 today with off and on periods of rain. It is a first alert weather day. We get a break Tuesday, mainly just some clouds. A few showers ahead of that front on Wednesday, highs in the upper 50s, then boom. There's your front. The winds pick up. We may not even hit 40 on Thursday. It'll be windy. It'll feel like it's in the 20s and 30s all day. And there you see it Friday morning. Hard freeze area wide. Make sure you protect the pipes, the plants, and also don't forget about your neighbors as well. As your